bottom below the dry wet knob it says it's an audio coloring utility and that is like the perfect way to describe this so today we're looking at low fly dirt by msx2 sound design now i'm gonna be 100 percent honest when i first saw this i thought it was just another bit crusher and I was excited about it because I love Bit Crushes. Um, I like what they do. I like how some kind of sound a little different than others. Some have a little more control than others. Whatever the case may be, I enjoy using Bit Crushes. Um, the one drawback to Bit Crushes, at least in my opinion, when we buy Bit Crushes, we're buying them in order to emulate the samplers of yesteryear. Um, that when you go on eBay at some time, the price is through the roof. Bit Crushes normally, they, they take away from the sound and they add, you know, their own quality to the sound, but the quality that they don't add is that, that, like, that, that bottom, that, like, these older samplers would add to your drums, okay? Um, so, when I first saw this, you know, I was excited about it. Like, I'm like, hey, another tool to throw into the awesome, whatever. Um, but what I did not realize is that this joint is exactly what I was looking for. Um, let's go through the different modes and I'll, and I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Okay, so as you can see on this track, I have low fly dirt applied to the entire drum bus. So it's going to affect every drum sound um, at the same time. So at this moment, it's not engaged, so you can hear the drums in an actual state. So let's start with default mode. Now let's move to 60 mode. First sound I'm gonna apply it to is the kick. And with default mode, you can already hear the kick having more presence in the mix. 1200 mode, I couldn't wait to get it on 1200 mode just so to see what it would do to the kick by itself. So now what I'm gonna do with that 1200 mode because I like what it does to the bottom end, and I'm gonna kind of roll off some of the highs. I'm gonna put it on full four mode on 
top of that. in a way it snaps now. Now obviously I'm clipping all over the place and I have to go in and like actually mix this down all over again. But I'm just showing showing it like this for demonstration purposes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put one on the hi-hat as well and I'm just gonna use the full mode because I, I, I really I, I don't like to kind of grunge up the hi-hat too much because they, 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 they kind of take go on a different a completely different sound so now I'm looking for the lead sound that one right there I want to grunge that sound up a little bit. So let's hear what it sounds like with one. So for this, I'm thinking either 60 mode. Because I like that crunchiness right there. Maybe not 404 mode. I like that one. But the 8 bit and the SK5 really like for me for this type of sound seem to be the best This is something I noticed. I don't know if you heard that that little click and pop that sometimes happens with the full four mode. It depends on what you're um, feeding through it. I ain't gonna lie. Now I'm just ODing. I ain't gonna lie. See, there's that, that click and pop again. But like I said, I think that all depends on what's being fed through it. Now let's just take all of them off so you can hear what the beat sounded like before we put any type of effects on any sounds. So I just took it off the bass. And now I'm taking it off the hi-hat. So it's still on the drum bus, but I'm gonna take it off the individual drums first. I'm gonna go to the kick now and take the two off here. You hear the difference in the kick now. now let's go to the snare. You already hear the difference in the snare. And take the one off the drum bus now. You can just hear there's a real significant difference. Now nah, this ain't this ain't a conclusion. 
because I'm not home right now. I'm not in my studio. I don't have access to everything that I would actually like to run through this plugin. I've had this plugin for a couple days, a few days, about a week or so. Um, and like literally, I've been running everything through it. Everything, not just drums, because each different mode works a little bit differently. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you my rating on this, what I feel about this plugin. But I'm gonna also do something else. So how I feel about this plugin, like if I, you know, like you know, but we're gonna we're gonna start a, a rating system. Um, we're gonna go by flame emojis. Out of five flame emojis, I will give this one. I'm gonna say four and a half. Now you probably you, you heard me rant and rave about it. You were asking why only four and a half. The reason why I say only four and a half is um, there is. Uh, a pro that actually is a con for me. The pro is that it is very simple to use. It's very easy to use. Um, the controls are just very basic. You turn it up, you turn it down. That's actually a con for me as well because I like to have a little bit more control over my sound. Um, but that's literally the only, the only, only like issue I have with low flat. That's literally it. Um, I can, I'm gonna be 100% honest and tell you that I will be using this on every track that I make that has drums. And I can't remember the last time I made a track that didn't have no drums on it. So is, to me, this is this should be if you're an iOS producer, this should be in your um, this should be in in, in in your on your device. It has to be on your device uh, because if you want your drums to stand out and you want your drums to really knock the way that that you that you're like kind of hoping they would knock, this is it. Whether you do trap, you do boom bap, you do whatever the case may be, somewhere in between those two, this plugin will work for you not only for your drums you can use it on your sub bases you can use it on your samples um you know if you kind of want to get you know kind of want to get that yesteryear feel but you don't have that yesteryear sample of money and you have five dollars then you can get no flat dirt and you can get that yesteryear sample feel all right so look buster what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna end this right here because it feel like it's is, is uh, going longer than I wanted to. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back next week with a second part uh, to this review. And next week's part of the review, I'm gonna be in the studio and I'm gonna run everything that I can through this. I got synthesizers to run through, the bass to run through, the guitar to run through it. Whatever the case may be, we're gonna run it all through it. We're gonna hear everything that it does. And, and and so you can continue to see how dope this plugin is. So if you have any doubts about it, or if you're wondering different ways to use it, I'm gonna show you a few ways to, uh, to use it. And and we just gonna get busy with it. All right. It's your boy Cheese for Beatmakers of Squad. Also, by the way, if you dug the sounds that were playing in the beat today, all those sounds are available on beatmakersthesquad.com. They are all from the Pyrosonics uh, sound kit. And yeah, that's about it. So, like I said, I'll be back next week with another video on MXX2 Sound Designs Low Fly Dirt. Yo, you wanna know something crazy? This is the last thing I'm gonna say. I don't even call this joint Low Fly Dirt. I call it the MSX2. Because that's, you know, you know, it, it, that sounds like a sample or something to me. So, like, if you hear me say the MSX2, this is what I'm talking about. All right, so I'll catch y'all next week. Peace.